and our friends. So we are going to make pot roast today. Now the trick about the pot roast, this is for those parents or those children who are trying to make dinner for their parents. When you don't really know what you're gonna make and you pull your pot roast out of the freezer too late and your pot roast is frozen, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Because you gotta cook and this is frozen. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get this bad boy in the oven, 250 degrees for about four to five hours. Start it early and your food will be ready on time. Now, so we're gonna use onion, carrots. I peeled these and cut them because it's the cheapest way to go. My roast was $14 and I think 20 cents. It was about four and a half pounds. Um, so we got that. And then we have onion powder, we have garlic powder. We have salt, we have pepper, accent, um, minced garlic. Um, I don't know if I mentioned salt, but we're gonna use sea salt. And then beef bouillon. We're gonna get this all together and I'm gonna show you what it looks like before it goes in. I'm missing celery. For those of you who like celery, I'm gonna add celery in later because my husband is on his way to bring it. But of course, everybody knows celery doesn't take that long, so I'm gonna put it in once he gets here. You won't see that part, but you'll see celery in the final product. Maybe, if he comes home with it. So, if not, this is what you'll see. Onions and carrots in your roast and all your wonderful seasonings, okay? After four to five hours of cooking. I'll be right back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for my 100 subscribers. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your patronage. And keep on watching videos because I still got some good stuff to share with you guys. Thank you again to being a part of the Savor My Mana family and friend panel. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Hold that thought. Okay, Savor My Mana friends. I have everything in here. I have my vegetables all seasoned. I have the top of my meat seasoned. Okay, of course you can't do much when your meat is what? Frozen. So this is how we're doing it this time. We have everything in here and I added about a cup and a half of water and I just poured it all around the edges and then I lifted up the meat so that some water would get under there. Okay, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna cover this with foil. It's gonna go in the oven for two on 250 degrees. You want your meat to be tender, so you gotta cook it low and slow, okay? I really wouldn't put a frozen um, roast in the crock pot unless you have maybe double the time, so maybe like eight to 10 hours, okay? So I'm putting in the oven, okay? What do you think? Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've ever had to, you know, quickly decide what you're gonna make and you ended up putting some frozen food in the oven and tell me how it came out try this see what happens anyway i will be back later on to let you know how it came out be back in about four to five hours see you soon don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you so much for my 100 subscribers